with the fucking traffic. And oh, God. Here is... Box traps. Hell on Earth. Monkey hive. Sandy Springs, Georgia. This was probably part of my family farm. I probably. mean, 400 yeah. acres. Uh, I actually think, guys, that, that this literally uh, should have been part of the 400 acres I should have inherited from the Hildebrand farm in Sandy Springs, Georgia, that uh, my grandfather sold in the Depression probably for $8 an acre. This shit is worth about uh, at least $8 million an acre. You're paying two to $3,000 per monkey box. Oh, God. And you can get in your box and you can sit here and look at the traffic <laughs> And stare at your neighbor across, you know, the little street and look in their box to see what they got. <laughs> <laughs> Idiots literally paying two to three grand. Oh, I, I, I bet it's more than that. You think so? Uh, it's, it, it, uh, this, it, this is just gross. It is gross. It's uh, all new. This, is, this was not here five years ago. No, this, uh, I, I mean, well, I mean, I... I I certainly don't remember when it was the family farm because we lost it in the 1930s. But even when I was a kid, I'm pretty sure this was all woods. And that shed at I-75 and 285. If you lived here, you'd already be in your box. Uh, yeah, that would be the sign. <laughs> uh, human warehouses. Yeah, that's all they are. I mean, they might as well just put bars on I, all the windows. I do wish I had had the camera going. When I got here at 1 o'clock, in the, I drove from fucking San Antonio, Texas to Atlanta, Georgia, 1,000 miles. You see the box. And the, the fucking eyes. exit that I was looking for mm -hmm. was closed. The, the exit, the, the worst exit from Santa and 1,000 miles. If I had to pick the worst exit in 1,000 miles to try to get off the fucking... Uh, freeway was uh, the exit I was looking for. But th this is just what South Austin looks like. I, it, I mean, you could, uh, this shit right here oh, on God. South Congress, but, uh, but even in Austin, they have a four-story limit. Wow. These are seven yeah. stories. So they can go seven here. Well, I don't know, what, what the hell is that thing with the little... The tops? That's the old, well, they call it the King and Queen Tower. It's, you know, business offices mostly. I used to take Aikido classes in the, the little athletic oh, the they got there. We got the Charles Schwab. Oh, uh, Schwab is doing his thing. He's Schwabbing people out of their money. Uh, he is. That sounds like a pirate thing, you know. Schwab the decks! <laughs> Bob the clueless morons. <laughs> you know, uh, Tyler used to work. Uh, good God. <laughs> well, they saved a few trees. Yep, yep. They haven't completely knocked them all down. The, oh, there's still a little uh, single-family residence tucked in there. I know, it's really strange. Unbelievable. I don't know if that's like slated for destruction. Some of those have been sitting there a long time. This is someone saying, fuck you, there's right. a few places. There are a few houses and, around here. People just say they dig in, they're yeah. like, not moving. Good, Sorry. Good for them. Yeah. No, there's one, one house right near us that saved the whole block because they wanted to knock it down and put a big enclave in there. And this one guy said, you. I bought this old house, I renovated, put a bunch of money in it, I'm not leaving, sorry. So he shut the whole thing down. <laughs> I was like, good for you. He put a bunch of signs around his house, like, leave me alone, no, you know, stay out and all that. It was great. Oh, God. One hold out, saved the whole block. See, you know, in springtime with the leaves coming back on the trees, it's, I mean, you would almost be deluded into thinking there was still... That's why people like this area, because there's still a few trees left. Uh, they're like, wow, it's green A tree! Here. Oh, look at the trees! Is this a school, or is this guy just... He's just... For the, for the condo complex. He's playing around out here. He's... He's getting his uh, salary to get people in and out of the condo complex? <laughs> That's a good job if you can get it, I guess. 
Are we gonna get pinched here by these barrels or? I hope not. I hate a pinchy barrel. Uh, <laughs> That's the other words. <laughs> the barrel getting reason. fresh with you. <laughs> <laughs> Especially in front of the Marionite or Men Maronite Catholic Church over here. <laughs> Is that what this is? Is the Catholic Church? We're just going straight through this lane. So, what are these here for? I have no clue. These barrels. What I, don't the know. I don't know if they're planning to. Have they been there the for the past five years? Probably. <laughs> <laughs> I don't often uh, walk up this way, so I. Oh, the leafy suburbs. This little stretch of famine, boy. Now these houses, they would love to knock all these down. Oh yeah, oh yeah. They would I, love to knock all these down and, and put their dumb big, either McMansions, or one of these dumb monkey hives on it. Uh, but people like these little houses. They are not gonna give them up easy. You can see a lot of people living in them their whole life. You know, they got the knickknacks and the gnomes in the yard and stuff. And so you know, like, they don't want to leave these houses. So they're just waiting for all the old farts to die. Maybe. Yeah. Yeah, either the old folks will die and the kids won't care. Yeah. You know, that's... Take the money. I love these little houses. It's, you know, there's this little... Uh, Not better than the crap. Does, does that say Hildebrand? Oh, that was yeah. Hildebrand. Yeah, okay. Be Hildebrand. So this this right was from where I live. all right. So this You're was where this was my farm right here. This spent. this right here, yes. uh, the Hildebrands. <laughs> That's I am one fourth German. Oh man, That's interesting. Well, this was it. The old. Uh -huh. I think it was four hundred acres. No, I would be, good lord, I'd be living on a yacht right now surrounded by a half dozen naked 20-something <laughs> women. That's what I'd be doing instead of driving around with a fucking dog hanging out my window, my beat up old truck. Goddamn straight, I would have sold this shit to these damn developers. I would have sold my, whatever my cut was. Ugh. Lord. So right past, uh, right, right before the Burger King is where we're at, and we're gonna be turning in the little parking lot, right? Right. right. right there on the right. Uh, I'm gonna go get some Vietnamese food in my old family farm. Woohoo! Jesus. <laughs>